to do X. X is uh, XXX Tentacions voice. I heard other YouTubers do it, and right now I'm gonna do it. Call me X or Young Dagger Dick. <laughs> yup, I'm about to do one. <clears throat> worst thing comes to worst, I die a fucking tragic death, and I wasn't able to see out my dreams. I just wanna know if all those kids perceive my message. My name is XXX Tentacion. And you call me X or Young Dagger Dick. <laughs> Yo. No, this is X speaking for the last time. I'm about to do one. <clears throat> worst thing comes to worst, I die a Wait, fucking buddy. tragic death, and I wasn't able to see out my dreams. I just want to know if all those kids perceive my message. My name is XXX Tentacion. And you call me X or Young Dagger Dick. <laughs> Oh yes, oh sorry Chris, what's good? This is my rifle. This is my rifle. With deadly precision, these soldiers are an incredible force on in the battlefield. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. Oh, so why are we still here? We're counting down the top 5 facts about snipers and what makes them so deadly. Now, my rifle, I am nothing without my rifle. Do you have the disc to K-19 or the disc? We'll be looking at the sniper's tactics, Ooh. challenges, and just what they're capable of. So dial in your scopes and take aim. Move. Hold on, I'm gonna put on text to speech. Snipers pretty much never work alone. One of the sniper's primary and most important jobs is to cover and provide overwatch for other units conducting operations, keeping their fellow soldiers safe. Oh, man, what the hell? Overwatch, Einstein. Oh, yeah. Task aside, they virtually always have a spotter. Oh, oh, Spot. Oh, you know. Shoot. Spot. Shoot. It seems logical to have at least one person watching the sniper's back while they're focused downrange, but what many don't realize is that the spotter is typically the more experienced sniper. That's your mulligan, Mr. Ward. Play ball! If the spotter's job to help find targets, mm -hmm. then identify Why that target's distance, away? as well as a variety of factors that could affect the path of the bullet at that range. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving to the building. Follow him, you got him? Um, and help make adjustments to the scope. 870 yards and close. Wind, three-quarter value, push to left. At the end of the day, one might say that the shooter is pretty much just a trigger man. On target. Oh, scope. Fire when ready. Number four, snipers can use sound to locate enemy snipers. What the heck is happening? happening? Bullets move faster than the speed of sound. I'm so, so after the gun fires, the distance between the bullet and the sound... How did everybody just get lost? Shot grows larger and larger. I didn't have a weapon. This allows snipers to use a technique called crack bang. As a super this guy, there's no way to the person. It creates a distinct noise called a ballistic crack. By then counting the seconds between the crack and the following right, right, bang right, right, created right, by the right, rifle right, firing, right. the data can be used to range the distance of the sniper. <laughs> Unfortunately, the technique is only good within 450 meters. However, DARPA, a branch of the U.S. Department of Defense, has developed a device called the Boomerang that basically does the same thing, just with fancy microphones and computers. Number three, the longest distance reported kill was just under 2.5 kilometers. That seems like a tough distance to grasp. Imagine standing at one end of a football field and seeing someone at the other end. Well, in 2009, a football force in the British Army was able to make two confirmed kills from a distance of 27 football fields, or just over a mile and a half. After a two-man so Taliban on. machine gun team targeted soldiers from the sniper's unit, the sniper was able to hone in and kill them both using a 338 Lapua Magnum rifle. In spite of the fact that the targets were about 900 meters past the recommended effective range of his rifle, it was later calculated that the bullet was in the air for about six seconds before it hit the target. Upon returning from his military tour, the sniper in question suffered severe PTSD, stating... Hey everyone, Rich Ferguson here, and I cannot believe that people are still where, 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 where,
course, the Earth is flat. Today I'm going to prove it to you, and be sure to share this with all your friends so you can prove how smart you are too. Let's do this. Here's proof right here. Hello? Max, well, why, why do you, do you jump so, so late? Now you're going to say, what about globes? Yeah. Well, globes were created by the education system, so yeah. kids can all stand around the outside and look at the map at the same time. It's simple, people. Don't be stupid. And this is proof enough. Have you ever poured water on a ball? It doesn't stay on, does it? Behold, the flat earth. And when you pour water on it, guess what? It stays. If the earth is flat, why does the water fall off the side? Because of mountains, dumbass. Now let's talk about the tides. But first, the moon is flat too. They say you can't see the back of the moon. That's because it's a plate too. Full moon, partial moon, hello? Obvious, the moon is not pulling our tide back and forth because all over the world, water is... No, spiked. he actually so shot me naked. If you put water on a plate... Don't you love it, bro? I'm sitting there like... And I got other planets bro. are flat, too. This is not the shadow of the moon or Earth. Leave, bro. I'm was, sitting here lagging. Why do we still see the ring? Hello. Well, what about the sun? Is it round two? Nobody knows because you can't look at the sun. It'll burn your eyes out, stupid. Here's more proof. Clouds. See? Sprinkle clouds on a ball. They fall off. Duh! Put clouds on a disc. And they stay. People really need to learn some IQs. Speaking of clouds, you ever notice how rainbows are always curved or circular? That's because your eyes are balls. Not because the Earth is a ball. Gosh, people are so stupid. You see? It's simple when you think. Planes fly around the country. They don't fly around a ball because planes fly straight. They would fly right off into space. It's geometry, people. Simple. Still don't believe me? Well, maybe you'll believe physicists because they're the smartest people on the planet. And they say the quickest way to get to those two points is to bend it together through space and time. And then voila, those two points meet. Hello, can't do that with a ball, can ya? Now here's something you see all the time, but you've probably never even thought about it. Train tracks. They have to be flat by design, yet they go all across our country. If they weren't straight, trains would fall off. It's very simple. It's called observation. You're telling me we have a ball that has time zones, and if you travel fast enough, you'll go forward or backwards in time? That's ridiculous. Ever seen a clock? Or maybe a wall clock? Hello, it's flat, and there's time zones. Even my two-year-old child understands this. So when you're on a flat earth and you're traveling around, you go through the different time zones. Very simple. But there's 24 hours, dummy. Military time, hello. If the earth was a ball, then why can you be on a beach and see islands that would be out of sight? The earth is obviously flat. Then why can't you see Hawaii from California? Because it's so far away, there's clouds and stuff in the air, debris, particles. You can't see through all that stuff. You ever been in clear water? You can see really here? far, but you can't when the water's murky. Hello, common sense. So we're flying through space at 67,000 miles an yeah, hour. Every house and you're is telling gonna be me taken. if we're a ball that's spinning, we would survive that kind of wind? Have you ever put your hand outside of the window at 100 miles an hour? The people in the front would be blown off, and the people in the back would be turned around like a washing machine. It's called aerodynamics, people. So simple. Ever tossed a ball or a frisbee? Which flies better? Yeah, frisbee. And don't even get me started on gravity. You're telling me that there's people walking on the top of the Earth? that drop stuff that goes down, and people on the other side that drop stuff and it goes up, that makes no sense whatsoever. You can't break the law of physics. So there you have it, proof that the Earth is flat. So if you have a brain, share this with all your friends Earth to prove that you're flat. not stupid. Yeah, Jesus. We'll start with some basic questions. The sky is... In a world where it feels like nothing is as it seems. Blue. It's blue? Of course. Oh, the sky's blue. The sky's blue. One plus one is... Two. 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 There's at least one truth we thought was indisputable. And the Earth is... Flat. Flat. The Earth is flat. My reality, my senses tell me that the Whoever Earth is flat. Whoever threw dynamite in this house, I hate you. So I thought. But for the people oh. attending the first Flat Earth International Conference here in Cary, North Carolina, 
their Earth is indisputably not round. Yeah, everybody here can agree on absolutely one thing, which is it is not a globe. For centuries, a flat Earth was accepted as certainty, until science and sailboats said otherwise. One of the rules of power is you never admit that there's someone bigger than yourself. But in 2015, this oh, guy, Mark Sargent, so posted his flat Earth clues. Part of a series of clues that can help you get your head around both oh. the design of the flat Earth system we live in. You're kind of the, like, father of this oh, movement. Boy, how, no. how would you... <laughs> Don't do that. You're the one who sort of started it all. I did not invent flat Earth. All I did was walk up to a door, point at it, and say, you know what? I think there's some really interesting Can things on the other duos? side of this, and check it out for yourself. One more of these. If Flat Earth is a university, you know, FEA, then I would be the freshman recruiter. People have traveled from around, actually, Mark would say, across the flat world to its head. The first rule of Flat Club is you don't talk about Flat Club. Until now. You know, I have a poem about that. It's, uh... <laughs> Right here. Amy Nicholson wrote a book of poetry about her flat earth journey. A few months flat and seven months to rally. Kim Gurley came to the conference from Houston. I haven't really come out all the way yet. I'm still a little in the closet. <laughs> the North Pole's in the middle. Lainey Inavali came from even farther. I mix with quite a lot of flat earthers in, a, in uh, New Zealand. You know flat earthers, I guarantee it. But you don't know who they are because they're afraid of talking about it. One, two, three. <laughs> like many modern movements, this one has grown in large part out of the internet, with rappers like Odd TV evangelizing to hundreds of thousands of subscribers. No more living on a cartoon ball. And YouTube channels like Globusters. Encouraging skepticism about what you've been taught. For the serious students here at the conference, this has got to a point now where it's becoming real. It all comes down to proof. When it comes to science, there's things you can test right now, right? Fire burns, water's wet, drops something, falls to the ground, that appears to be gravity. Those are things you can test, right? But the curving horizon, the sloping sea level, the spin of the Earth, unless you can see these phenomena with your own eyes, they may not be true. Right. A lot of people are going, this is This is crazy, crazy right? <laughs> but think about this. For the last 20, 25 generations, this is what we've told people. Unlike what we've been told in school, some flat earthers imagine the Earth looks like a snow globe round but not sphere the north pole is at the center of most flat earth maps with the ice of antarctica holding everything in so are you certain this is what the earth looks like pretty sure almost i mean there there are some details to be worked out sure but the basic concept is sound absolutely sound and one thing again we absolutely know for a fact this ain't it so so my kill, those by iconic the way. blue marble images Welcome. seen from space Flat earthers denounce them as fakes. You start seeing words like composite or animation People or you know, something that tells you this is not an actual photograph of the earth. Yes, question. So if you think I you like have questions, feel free to line up and ask them while I'm reading the opening right. statement. The flat earthers have many, many more. This is what returns to earth. Which is why I'm I done. thought someone who's actually seen the earth from space might have some answers. One plus one is? Two. What color is the sky? Blue. And the earth is? Round. <laughs> Just like it is here, this model of it. Professor Mike Massimino spent more than 20 days in space and worked on the Hubble telescope. So when you lo looked at the planet, mm -hmm. what did it look like? It looks round, folks. <laughs> it is round. My, my eyewitness account. Okay, I'm going to play one more game and then I'm going to get off. This is round. Okay, we're in the final countdown. How you doing over there? He's playing himself on the Big Bang Theory, but some flat earthers actually believe astronauts are just actors, part of a huge conspiracy going back to those very first steps on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. You don't believe that they've gone to space? No, no, not at all. The rockets go up, sure. There's nobody in them. I hope you're ready to listen fast and I'm ready to speak fast. Rob Skiba is another one of the celebrity contrarians in the Flat Earth movement. His popular YouTube videos and podcasts <laughs> take clues from the Bible. Are you going to get back on Genesis. tonight? I mean, today. There's no way you can get a spinning heliocentric globe oh, yeah. out of anything. Uh, when are you doing? Invite me to a party. Everything. I have become 
Okay. And I think rightfully so. Pretty much everyone here, though, is kind of a conspiracy theorist. I don't see that's a common trait, but I think there's a little bit of conspiracy theorists in all of us. I really do. This is gonna be fun. It's why many of them do their own experiments. Daryl Marble has a level on a flight to test if the plane was flying parallel to a flat Earth. So there's going to be some science people who say that is a real Bobo experience. They, they have. That's a little basic. I know. It's so simple it'll go right over your head. The credo for many of these believers, check it out for yourself. Go out and test you just want them to ask the questions. Why do you believe what you believe? And let you go from there. Because <laughs> you know? I can tell you something that and then you just look at me and say I'm crazy. A lot of people watching this are going to be like, that man is crazy. I'm sure they probably do. And, and I would say, well, they're crazy for not testing what they think they believe. But in a world of disagreements, large and small, for something as clear as this horizon, the interpretation could be infinite. For Nightline, I'm Eva Pilgrim in Cary, North Carolina. There's a shoddy downstairs. Officer. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. This is a Reader's Digest version containing many of the interesting parts of the Flat back. Earth Theory. For those who have already started seeing things with new eyes, it will be mostly a recap, but there could be a few new angles you haven't looked at. For the rest of you who are new to this, the first question is invariably, is this a joke? Because it's a joke, right? And that's where we start, because it's one of our two basic childhood facts. One plus one equals two, and the earth is a globe. We're taught this before almost everything else. Where's the kid that I was originally shooting And that right there should at. give you a clue on how serious this secret is. But for those who have forgotten their history, here's the modified men in buddy. black version. For the first 4,000 years of our civilization, we believed that the earth was a flattish disk surrounded by a solid dome barrier called the firmament. All of the five major religions had their own version of this. And the churches enforced the belief. Mm -hmm. Bye. Then, around 1514, a man named Copernicus created a new model of the world. Factsverse presents... Homeless man asks Burger King worker what he can get for 50 cents. And the worker's response is amazing. Homelessness is a serious problem and a sad reality in today's society. When you're approached by a homeless person asking for help, you have one of two options. First, you can spare a dollar or two to help the person out, or you can try to ignore the person and just walk away. The people who choose to ignore the homeless person asking for help often do so because they're worried the person will spend the money on drugs or alcohol. Most people are not willing to trust that a homeless person just wants to buy food. When Matthew Resendez, a Burger King worker, he was put in that position one day. When a homeless man asked him what he could get for 50 cents, he won't believe the boy's response. We'll tell you what it is in just a moment. First, help us spread the word about Faxverse by clicking that like button. And also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Matthew was working his shift at Burger King one evening when a homeless man walked in. And because of the part of town that Matthew works in, it wasn't really all that uncommon for him to wait on the homeless. On this particular evening, the scruffy man walked up to Matthew and asked him what he could get for 50 cents. When the man asked him the question, Matthew could have told him the truth. Nothing. There's nothing on the menu that costs so little as 50 cents. But Matthew didn't do that. Instead, he let the man keep his 50 cents, and he rang up the most expensive meal they had on the menu. Next, he took out his wallet and paid for it himself. The homeless man was thrilled by the generosity of a boy he had never even met before. The man wasn't the only person in Burger King that evening that was touched by Matthew's kind gesture. One of the people dining in the restaurant saw what Matthew did. They ran over to him and gave him a $100 bill. The diner was so impressed by Matthew's kind gesture, they wanted to reward him. 
The diner also wrote a letter to Burger King to let them know what a caring employee they had working for them. When Matthew got home that night,
I have no gun trying to kill me. Guys, I'm working on it, okay? What do I, how do I? Yeah, Kurt, you can't kill me. I don't got a gun, what bro. I'm gonna do the opposite of this. Wow. Yo, dude, give me a break, okay? I, I feel so king up on you. I mean, I play squads. I feel so king up on you. I don't know how to do things, but I don't know how to do things. Wait, is that what you said? Squads or COD? I don't really want to play quad, bro. Why wow, are you gonna play quad? Right. So you're playing. What no, are you gonna so. do? You playing quad or no? Jason, are right, you playing? All right. So let's go get ourselves some more titanium, which comes from salvage, which we get down from the water. Because everything, guys, in case you're un. Not a glitch. Yes, it is. This is totally It's a glitch. Duels. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Whoa. Sorry, Nathan, but that glitch is funny. Options. What's Douglas's username? Hello, Doug. You did? Did you join the fucking lobby? I didn't get any past FaceTimes. I haven't got a past FaceTime in two weeks. That I haven't answered. I want to answer. I want to answer. Can you join Douglas? Well, hold on, what, what, hold on, tell me what, never mind, I'm not gonna s mute everybody or you could uh, message me, uh, what's my phone number, because you might have the wrong one. Wait, Douglas, did you just buy it? No, he didn't. Okay. I need a new pickaxe, bro. Wait, all these pickaxes are duty ready. I have to look at my phone number. Alright. How do you even know Nathan, Jason? I know, oh. I know his little brother Iro. What does IRL mean? In oh, real, life. real life. Yeah. Wait, was that a renegade really raider? Oh my god! 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 Yes. Oh my god! What is yours? Oh yeah, let me see. All right, yep. Yeah, 
my city. <laughs> no, I was kidding, but okay. Yo, I can't strike my pickaxe. Oh my god. I can't even shoot. Oh my. No. Oh, just change your settings. Change your settings. Go to uh, Combat Pro or, or whichever one. Go to a different. Uh, It's no, not. Oh, now it works. Thanks, Nathan. You're too far, yeah. Hold on. What did you say, Foggy? Foggy, what did you say? I said thanks. My feet is bigger than yours, damn right. It's bigger than yours, damn right. I just said 44, what? The back wing for the skin is kind of doo-doo, bro. Yeah. I want that pump. Like, the skin isn't bad, but the... There's a kid on me. Any help? I'm Any help? Oh, yeah. I died. Wow. I literally don't know where this guy came from. I'm telling you, if if I replace somebody, that's as he dubs. Sit down, you rat. Coon. You forgot the rat. I mean, you forgot the coon at the end. No, I meant to say rat. Huh. Yeah. It's Nate. Wait, your name is Nate or Nathan? Nathan. I have, t I have uh, Nate. two Nate. I have two nicknames. Nate. Uh, Nate Dog. Uh, what? Bat. One v one me. Did did you get a PS4? Yeah. Oh. That's the girl that killed me. He needs to beg. He, he needs to beg oh. Melissa. Oh, <laughs> to get out my PS4 for Christmas. Take a seat, cuz. I mean, I've got I've got a little bit better. I could I could do double stair, double floor, double wall. I think everyone could do that. Nah, I have a lot of people that are good on my friends list that can't do that. Well, they can kind of do it, just they mess up a lot. Cause I'll admit, it's kind of hard. I'm in chronic, so. <laughs> you're so funny. Jason, you're terrible. <laughs> you're, yo, do you hear this kid, bro? He's so funny. You're so funny, Foggy. You're so funny, Foggy. <laughs> Jason, this is why when you pick out, you pick out like this. Wait, there's a chest. Don't break it. Hey, yo. Hey, you know, why don't you drop the two bandages? 
Is anybody getting off soon? No. No. So. Is Chris, Chris, are you still playing? All right. Wait, did you say yes or no? He said yeah. Yo, imagine I win this game for y'all. I mean, I got five kills. I killed a renegade raider. We oh, yeah, the renegade raiders in this game. Oh, he didn't die if I can ice on that kid. Like, that kid's gonna be. This kid's gonna be building like this. I'm gonna be building like this. When when the earth is shaking. When you're the only one in the fort in the world. Oh, do I say goodbye? What the fuck? Hey! Hey, S-A! S-S-H! We on top! We on it! Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah! That's the yeah. only thing that's good about 2K19, that song. We on it! Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah! I mean... Chuka, chuka. Okay, 2K19's mm -hmm. okay. I mean, a game to play 24 hours a day non-stop? Nah. That game is broke. <laughs> Let's be real. You got sold out. I've got sold out. 2K sells people for fun. Let me stop shooting because they don't know where I am. Let me stop shooting because they don't know who I am. They're really close. Holy oh, crap. Dude, they're gonna find me, yo. Oh my god, it's the Nazi zombies. Yeah, maybe. That's so loud, holy crap. Really loud. Thirty miles a tree. You think the renegade raider's dead? Yeah, of course the renegade raider is dead. Let's be real. He probably got thirsted. Probably did. Someone down the oh, I'm a bit thirsty, kid. These planes are actually annoying, bro. I'm in the sickest. I'm dipping. I don't care. I'm dipping. Until I find the renegade raider, that's when I would push. My only goal is to kill the renegade raider. A renegade raider? You know LEA has the renegade raider and the gold trooper and all that? 
Did you know that Ali A also has five wins? <laughs> I've played myself. Like Ashley, it's not, bro. I'm done, bro. Like I can't con you. I need to mute everyone else that's not playing with us. You're muting me. I did nothing. Those five people in the party. What? You said what? What channel? Reach 25? You have to what 25 in your lobby? I'm sorry. Why do I always get muted? That's my question. It's always me. Douglas. Douglas. Douglas, how much V-Bucks do you have? Douglas. Do you like the new skins? The insight and long shot? You wanna see how much money I have? I have enough money to buy the stupidest skin in the game. Tell you, you know I'm a big baller brand. Hey yo, you wanna see how much money I have? Um, Gio? What two cents? No. I have enough I have enough money to buy the stupidest skin in the game. What is that? You? I'm a skin. Mm-hmm. You have skin in real life, don't you? No. Oh, so you're pale? Oh. What? So when you grab a butt cheek, do you pull the chain up? <laughs> oh, he took your spot already. We're kidding. Ready up. Let's play one game. Geo, ready up. Come on. I'm ready up. I'm already up. Well, Foggy? I said I'm already up. Hold on. Let me pick the skin real quick. Ready up, Jason. Does Jason have me muted? Mm hmm. He says he hates you and he hope and he hope you die. Oh. <laughs> Can I just play one game? Yeah, later. Yo, we gotta invite him, man. 
Let me play one game. Wait. Wait, you guys just know what I realized? Hmm. Trish. You know every season the the secret loading screen? See last season? You they don't you don't have them anymore. It doesn't say number one, it actually shows the picture now. Just ready up jail. Whatever. Cause you know, if someone doesn't listen to him, fight him. Douglas. Did Douglas mute me? Mm-hmm. He said that go kill yourself. I'm kidding, Nathan. We all love you. No homo. Oh, so Douglas, that's good. Why did you say, why did you say to, to Nathan that you said, you told me that you muted him and you said to go, you said, you told me to tell him to go kill himself? Why did you say that? What's your guys' favorite, I mean, favorite spicy thing? Yeah. What's your guys' favorite chips? Uh, Takis. Where are we going? Yeah. Where are we going? I like Takis a lot also. Salty. Where are we going? Salty. But Jason, you don't, you don't talk to me like that. Who are you talking to like that? Uh, yo, I'll find you. Yo, hold on. Yo, Jason, I know where he out. lives. I'll send Funny. you the address. He lives on what? Yeah, Pineapple you, Street? Dude. I want Gio to come over here. He, he lives on a street called like Pineapple or something. It starts with the P. Penis. Peter. Want to know something, Gio? I've always had this what, question. How did you how how did you get a ligma? Like that's how been you born? Going... What? Yes, yeah, I said it. I didn't hear what you said. I said how did you get born? From my mom. Well, obviously. And then why you do you know? ask that question? Where am I? Yeah. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm 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 gonna, I'm
I wasn't here, so if you said the invite, that's Gio's fault. No, it's not. It's actually your fault because your host and Nathan was still here, so. Well, you didn't tell me you didn't. You want to... <laughs> Stop it. At least you're gonna make me laugh. Who is doing that? Gio. Not the new thing. Why do you always blame everything on me? I don't drink like. When you clap, it's funny. Stop drinking <coughs> like that, whoever is. Who's that me? That's not me. You know what I said? That's not me. Chris. That's not me. It's not a cup. It's not me. So Imagine not giving me that steel, man. Oh, thank gosh. I guess. It's probably Nathan. Bro, I'm done. Like, you're gonna end to. Like, how bad are you, kid?
Bro, there's so much people there. Like, actually. How much more? How much more XP do you need for the uh door thing for the tanks? The sword, like the second color of the sword. Are you dumb? Oh, the one hundred seventy-five thousand XP. Wait, what level are you? <laughs> Oh yeah, what level are you? I by accident ran and randomly knocked a random kid. Not me, bro. Am I laughing? Am I laughing? Am I laughing? I wasn't, but okay. Okay, where are we landing next, kids? Yo, I had yo. So tell me how I was running downstairs. I tried to hit hit this one kid, and then I had shot the other kid without a gun. I don't know how it's loud. It's probably just your volume. No, yes, it is, bro. I'm done. I'm done. I got one shot. Just, just finish me, girl. I'm done. I hit him for so much. He one shots me. Uh -huh. Who's breathing in their mic? <laughs> Can we get a four minute hike in the chat?
what huh help No. Change skills real quick. I'm not even winning, bro. Yo. Hello? I'm not even winning, bro. <clears throat> Are right, is it good?
Why'd Jason leave? Good loot, good loot. Play duos, Douglas. Invite me. Why are you in here, Greg? Fishing. Greg? So why the hell? It's that's his mom's name. Christian? Uh huh. Kind of mom's name is Christian. How would I know?
Are you guys playing with each other? I like me. I don't like me, Douglas. Did you did you load load in yet? I didn't get any invites. 